I'm going to show you a quick video of how I built this goat shelter out of some pallets and spare materials I had laying around the house. I'm trying to get this done before winter for our goats. If you haven't met our goats yet, this is Beverly. She's a Nigerian dwarf goat and this is Fleur. She's a pygmy goat. And we recently got a new buck. His name is Buckley. To start off with, I broke down a lot of pallets. And then I removed all the nails that I could. This took a lot of time because the nails in these pallets had a twist in them and were not meant to be removed. I used a miter saw to cut the pallet wood into a uniform length. The cut pieces were then used to fill in the gaps of a pallet the best that I could. This process was then repeated for all the walls of the shelter. I left some gaps at the top for ventilation. Once all the pieces were laid out, I used my nail gun to nail the planks on. I used some more planks to cover up the large cracks in the wall. Obviously, this process was repeated for all the walls. It took a long time and I procrastinated a lot, but it was finally time to install the shelter. I connected the wall pieces together by using some pre-cut 2x4s and screws. Please enjoy this sped up video of me assembling it. My camera died so I didn't get to film it, but I used some old 2x6s from a deck and ripped them down to build this sloped roof. I plan on filling in these gaps on the side, as well as this opening on the front. I just nailed up some more pallet planks to accomplish this. Here's what the side ended up looking like. For the floor, I used another pallet. I did this because the ground gets really wet in their pen. I nailed down some OSB over the pallet. Once the floor was done, I screwed down some OSB to make the roof. The OSB I'm using is left over from another project. I used some tar paper and some leftover metal roofing to finish the roof. I understand that there are some gaps, but it should work fine. I still have some cracks in the wall that I need to block with more pallet wood. Once that's done, I'm going to fill it with some bedding. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.